Okay, so in the last video entitled Time Set Points, we went over and explained exactly what time set points are. Now you're going to see how to customize those a little bit more so that it better fits the environment that you're in. Uh, they're, they're set by default out of the box when you get your Iponic 614, but of course you're probably going to want to customize those to fit your needs a little bit better. So, the way that we're going to go ahead and do that is go ahead and go into the menu and go ahead and scroll up to the top, which is number one, where it says current set points. And now from here, you'll see additional options. We'll have your temperature set point, humidity set point, CO2, light settings, and set point times. So if you go to the bottom to your set point times, you can actually see that we have our set point right now on day is set to start at 5 a.m and end at 11 p.m. Now, that may work for you, but you might want to also change that to something that's more indicative of, of your growing environment. So if we go up to the top here where it says set day start time, you can see that we'll get a screen that says set day start time. And I can go ahead and use the scroll wheel to change the time. So let's say 9 a.m. And if you go to the set min button right next to it, It'll go right here and we can move in increments of 10. So let's set it to 930 and set min right here, button number three, will take you over a little bit further. And from here, we could get even more specific. Like let's say if for some reason I wanted it to start at 933. So now I've got that set. And you can also set this from AM to PM. Since it's, this is my day set point, I really don't want it to start at PM. So I'm gonna leave it at AM. But if you did wanna cycle through, just go ahead and hit AM, PM, and it'll go back and forth between the two. Now what you can also do if you don't want to use AM or PM, you can change this to just a 24 hour cycle. So if you hit the 12, 24 hour at the bottom, it'll either remove or add the option to add AM or PM. Okay, so we've got my, uh, we've got the day set start time already set for 9.33 AM. You just go ahead and hit the back button and then it's gonna ask you if you wanna save the changes. So let's say I did wanna have it start at that time. We'll go ahead and say save changes. And there you go. Now you can see it's reflected here. Your day set point starts at 9.33 a.m. And then if you go up to the set night start time, it's gonna work pretty much the same way. You're gonna have your night start time, set a time for it, and it'll go ahead and set your set point for that. Um, now it's important to remember that Basically, whenever you're, let's say you're at the end of your day set point, so your day ends at 11, your night set point will then begin. So one comes after the other one, and vice versa, when your night set point ends, your day set point will then begin. So I'm not really going to change my night set point. Let's say 11 is okay for me.